Now, look, Tom, Prince Harry made his first public appearance since his disastrous High Court appearance had his phone hacking trial. The Duke was seen at the Warrior Games in San Diego to support U.S. Army veterans. But once again, wife Meghan, nowhere. In addition to his London court wrangle, Meghan was also notably absent, of course, from the King's coronation, MIA, during the promotion of his awful tell-all memoir, Spare. So, Tom, what are you hearing about this? Why is Meghan backing away so purposefully from all of these PR disasters and actually not saying to her husband, this isn't working, you know, pivot. You're making a fool of yourself. Let's take a different strategy. What, does she want him to be weak? Does she want him to be ruined? Well, she hasn't really appeared in person and talked since the whole year. Mm. I mean, that is what's extraordinary. It's silent Megan now, having set him up. But I took from those pictures of him in San Diego this week, here's a man who, when he was in London, was really angry. Mm. And I think his court appearance, as disastrous as it was, he doesn't realise how bad it was. There was a cathartic moment. But the truth is that they have one major problem coming up after another in rapid succession. First of all, today, he'll hear whether his visa application is going to be made public. The court will decide. This is in the US. This is the new thing today. Secondly, Netflix has not announced in any way that the Invictus series is going to be broadcast this year. That could be a problem for them. No money there. Spotify have cancelled their contract. A money problem again. And there's another very interesting development tonight in America that the Beast newspaper revealed Mm. that when Meghan complained, when they arrived in America from Canada in 2021, they went to stay in Tyler Perry's uh, compound in California, L.A. And she complained about the drones flying over looking for Archie. And in the Netflix series... She says, aren't they? These people are just terrible. What the lengths they'll go to to invade our privacy. Well, Tom Sykes reveals today that he was tipped off about that uh, drone attack and that he got from the Los Angeles Police Department under fire a revelation that, in fact, Megan tipped the police off, tipped the drone, uh, the paparazzi off, where she could be found. She wanted her privacy invaded, which... To us now, it doesn't seem that shocking because we've seen them invading their own privacy for years now. But the idea that within days of arriving in America for their privacy, she was literally tipping off the paps where to find her, it just shows that she's on a different planet to all of us. Her agenda is by now so obscure, we can't even say, except that she's got a puppet, and the puppet is Harry. And Harry is just, I think, out of his out of his depth. He has no idea anymore what he's being played at. He has no idea the game that he's actually engaged in. And it can only end in, tra- end in tragedy. I mean, that's an extraordinary revelation. What would I think be so helpful, though, and this is why I'm very suspicious why Meghan hasn't done this, is for her to actually have an honest conversation with her husband and say, look, Harry, your mum used the media a lot. We all know that. She, she regularly tipped off photographers. She had her favourite journalists who she spoke to regularly. You know, Richard Kay, editor-at-large at the Daily Mail, was one of her last ever phone calls back in 1997. And also, Harry, when I was famous, when I was desperate for publicity, I used to tip off paparazzi photographers all the time and leak stories about myself to newspapers in order to get headlines. Because the problem is, Tom, he has such a warped view of the relationship between celebrities and royals and the media, including his own mother. And it's leading him on a campaign that I believe is deranged. Well, it's deranged, but you've got to look back at it uh... You know, uh, Dan, because you've got to look at what the book, my book revealed about mm-hmm. her. She's a scheming woman. Revenge. Revenge. She's always been plotting. She's always been looking how she can mm. use people for her own benefit. Well, that's why I wonder if and she then, wants Harry to be weak, you see. But it's not that she wants him to be weak. She probably no longer sees his purpose. She doesn't see what he can still do for her because he's done everything. He's given her the title. He's given her fame. What is the next step? And the terrible tragedy, which is now unfolding, is she dumped her father, she dumped her first husband, she dumped the boyfriend in Canada, she dumps people who aren't uh, in any use to her. Is she going to dump Harry now? Is what we're seeing now the slow motion of Meghan part nine as she attempts the next step in her extraordinary career? I just don't know, because it's so heartless 
to treat this fellow like this. And I can't see how she could really treat him so appallingly, the father of her children. But her absence from everything is by now seeming pretty, pretty suspicious. Her silence since Christmas, really, before Christmas, is really pretty odd. And there's got to be a reason. My suspicion is that she's plotting. I've always said she's going to do something big. We've been saying that now for weeks. So we're still going to wait to see what the next stage is.